Okay, coming in now is the next guest on the agenda. It's like a roller, roller coaster today. We have uh, published Under 21 manager Mitch Austin, who's uh, very, very happy today, as um, I'll let him tell you the result against um, AFC uh, Russian and Diamonds. What was the score? Uh, we won 2 1. Pardon? 2 1. To that was Kettering Town. 2 1 to Catherine Town. And how many times has, has that we've beaten them? Uh, we've played them four times, we've beaten them three times, and drew once. So that's a pretty good record, isn't it? So that cements. So that does that cement second place now in the. Uh, yes, it does. It does. So that's. Uh, I haven't seen the results. The other results today. I know there was MK College versus Kempston, which are Kempston are a great side, but uh, M MK are top. So we're hoping they do us a favour. And Histon were away at. I can't can't think of. Something. Yeah, I think Histon have got a few games in hand, haven't they? They so they've got one uh, one game in hand over us. Yeah, if so they win that, would they go above? They will go one point ahead of us. Well, also, we did have the goal scorers. Um, uh, Moosey got one, I believe. Adam Moosey. Adam Moosey. And the other goal scorer was? Brain Duke. Br Brenny Jukic. <laughs> my I captain. I can pronounce it because uh, yeah, I would captain. struggle with that yeah, one. Yeah, my captain, Brenny Jukic. But what also is, is impressive um, this afternoon, as um, Ed did uh, read out the, the team, was the amount of under-21 players that are on the bench today. Yeah, I'm, I'm over the moon with it. That's, that's my main aim. Winning games, obviously... Beating Diamonds is fantastic, don't get me wrong. Everyone at Kettering Town likes to get one over Diamonds. Oh, of course. It's, um, it's a prerequisite of signing off for Kettering Town, isn't it? Exactly. To, to beat Diamonds, that and, is for sure. And to, to not be beaten by Diamonds all season is even better. But to finish that game and see the... Well, I know Rebus has been in the first team this season, but having Rebus, Sachin and Niall in the squad is, is fantastic. Niall made a brief camera appearance, didn't he? I he think did. Like, um, early on in the season. He so. did. Uh, exceptional talent. Exceptional talent. Just needs to take his chance on given. But um, going back to that Diamonds game, though, the, 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 what I was watching of it, it was quite a close game. It was a very close game. Of the games that I've seen against Diamonds, uh, it, that's the closest of the yeah. three games, isn't it? Yeah, we, we've lost a lot of um, luxury, luxury attacking players. Uh, didn't really help us on our defensive side of the game. So we've, we've changed them for more solid uh, the, uh, for, for team players. So we won't score as many goals, but we won't concede as many. That's why at the moment we've got a bit of a run. Uh, collecting points, but not not winning by large margins like we was. Yeah, and an impressive um, save there from the goalkeeper, especially That's, after making that blunder. Yeah, uh, well, he uh, the first half he he made a bit of a blunder, uh, had a bit of a bit of a word with him at half time. Said, uh, I do believe. Don't do that again. No, I, <laughs> I, I do believe Sachin Slaw is the best keeper in that league. And uh, second half, he got mal a match just for his performance in the second half. Pulled off some great saves in that second half that I saw. And, um, Penal uh, a penalty save yeah. he made and won in the last moment, last minute of the game. Kept us in it. It's like uh, Richard Knight did the same thing at um, Godlaming last week. And without that great save from him, that yeah. would have been one all and yeah. points have dropped. So uh, goalkeeping position is very important. Very, very when they important. make a blunder, it's highlighted, isn't yeah, it? Of course but, it is. Of course it is. Because uh, it, 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 and it tends to lead to a goal. That if a mistake from a goalkeeper, it does tend to lead to a goal, so the spotlight is on them, as you say. Now, there has been talk about um, the other 21s going into a different division next season because right. of the lack of teams or teams yeah. dropping out this division. I mean, they started off with, let's say, 10 teams and now, what, six? Yeah. And it must actually be very difficult to actually keep all the players playing week in, week out. So, what is the sort of timeline for the future of the under 21s next season? Uh, what the plans are, um, basically, we want to develop lads so they're playing every week. The, the level and the standard of the under-21 league is very, very good. Very good. So, so Diamonds today, they are bottom of the league. They're a good side. You know, harsh to say it. Uh, but I don't really like to say it, but they're a good side. Um, so we're looking maybe to go to, there's the Peterborough League with the likes of Whiz Beach Reserves. Um, we've got Hull Beach Reserves, Spalding Reserves. We'd probably go up uh, towards that so we can keep the ground grading as the back pitch with the youth side. Um, there's no problem with ground grading, and we'll go into that league, and we're we're playing. We're, we've got a, a twenty team league. And that's uh, what you want, isn't it? For development, lads have got to play every week. It's as simple as that. Lads can't play one in three. Some players are left to go and play for UCL clubs, haven't they, exactly to get more that. games? Exactly and that, that can't really help your development. No, and it's it's been a bit of a hindrance to me, if I'm honest, because I've I've brought some great players into the club, but as every great player wants to play every week. So I'm lucky to have a loyal bunch at the moment of 15, 16 lads and we'll keep that for the last seven games and hopefully push on and see six games and see what we can do. 
And if anybody out there watching wants to get involved with the under-21s or any other of the Kettering Town teams, um, what, 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 what can they do to do that? Uh, well, we can go on our main website. I think it's Kettering Town. Uh, if, still, if you Google, blah, 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 yeah, if you go, <laughs> if you Google Kettering Town, it'll come up. I'm sure. Twitter, we have our head of youth on there, which is uh, Alan Doyle. I think it's at Dapper Doyle. Dapper Doyle, and there's Dapper a name that rings yeah, a few bells. Yeah, Dapper Doyle. We've got Steve Kinneberg, our under uh, 18 manager, on there, and you've got myself on there as well. We can be found. So if anybody out there wants to get involved, then believe me, it's going to be a great setup uh, next year with the academy and also the under 21s. So please do so, Mitchell. Welcome you with open arms and. Uh, take you away and see if he can develop you and who knows uh, players are developing into the first team and that's great news for local talent being used for, for Kettering Town so that's fantastic exactly that. ok Mitch nice Brilliant. to have gone here again uh, no much. phones going off this time which no. is good <laughs> <laughs> no. so there we go we'll invite Ed back for the uh, 